Hi everybody, my name is Tammy Lynn, and I'd like to invite you to listen to a story that I'm going to read. The story that I'm going to read is called Little Chief and Mighty Gopher, The Pemmican Frenzy. This book was written by Victor Lethbridge, and the illustrations are done by Ben Crane. It's a pretty good book. I hope you stick around. All right, here we go. Many moons ago, there was a young boy named Snow Cloud. Snow Cloud's father was the tribal leader. His name was Chief Redstone. Spending time with his son was difficult because Chief Redstone was very busy looking after his people. Snow Cloud's mother was Gentle Willow. She picked choke cherries and other berries and she dried meat. She made the best pemmican in the camp. She smiled a lot, but Gentle Willow's heart was heavy because her son did not have any friends. Snow Cloud couldn't run like the other children. One of his feet lagged behind his, uh, the other and Snow Cloud struggled to keep up. Sometimes the other children teased and laughed at him. He longed for a friend. Snow Cloud loved to spend his days watching the prairie and all its animals. When he looked to the east, he saw the deep coolies where his mother picked her berries. That's where the hawks had their nests. When he looked to the south, he saw the winding river with its steep cliffs and hidden crevices. That's where the coyotes had their dens. When he looked to the west, he saw the wide open prairies. That's where the buffalo roamed. When he looked to the north, he saw the rolling hills. That's where the gophers played, including a very special one named Mighty Gopher. Early one afternoon, the young boys were out exploring and playing in the hills. One of the boys tripped Snow Cloud, who fell into the coarse grass and called out, wait for me. But the boys ran on. Looking back, they taunted, you're not Snow Cloud, you're Slow Cloud. Snow Cloud's eyes brimmed with tears as he saw the boys disappear over the hills, leaving him all alone. Suddenly, Snow Cloud heard a high pitched whistle. Turning his head, he spotted Mighty Gopher peeking out of his hole. Quickly, the gopher ducked down. Then cautiously, he peeked out again. Soon they were playing hide and seek and Snow Cloud forgot all about being lonely. Before long, other gophers were playing too, popping in and out of their holes and darting back and forth from behind the sagebrush. Nearby, the buffalo curiously watched. Snow Cloud spotted them and said, come play with us. The buffalo gladly joined in and they all played together until the sun began to dip below the horizon. Darkness followed and Snow Cloud reluctantly went back to the teepee camp. He had no idea that Mighty Gopher followed him home. While everyone was sitting around the campfire telling stories, Mighty Gopher snuck into Chief Redstone's teepee there, in a skin pouch, he discovered Gentle Willow's pemmican. It was delicious. He couldn't get enough of it. He hurried back to the other gophers, carrying some of the scrumptious pemmican to share. The next day, the gophers invaded the teepee camp to get more pemmican. There were gophers everywhere scurrying between teepees, overturning things, and creating a terrible mess throughout the camp. Round and round they ran. Squeak, 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 squeak. Up and down, through and around. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Snow Cloud threw back his head in laughter. Chief Redstone shook his fist in anger. These gophers have to go. They're causing a frenzy and the pemmican is disappearing. Chief Redstone did not like what the gophers were doing, not one bit. He called the elders forward and asked, 
How do we get rid of all these gophers? The elders thought and talked and talked and thought. Eventually, they came up with an idea. Let's bring in hawks. So the elders brought in lots of hawks. Old hawks, young hawks, big hawks, and little hawks. All the gophers ran away, but the hawks stayed. The hawks created even more commotion, and now they started eating the pemmican too. Round and round they flew, flap, 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 up and down, through and around, flap, flap, flap. Snow clouds squealed with delight. Chief Redstone stomped his foot. The hawks are eating our winter food. And he did not like what the hawks were doing, not one bit. Again, Chief Redstone called on the elders. How do we get rid of all these hawks? The elders thought and talked and talked and thought. Eventually, they came up with an idea. Let's bring in coyotes. So the elders brought in lots of coyotes, old coyotes, young coyotes, big coyotes, and little coyotes. The hawks flew away, but the coyotes stayed. The coyotes caused turmoil. They pounced on and devoured any pemmican in sight. Round and round they ran. Yip, yip, howl. Up and down, through and around. Yip, yip, howl. Snow cloud rolled on the ground in laughter, but Chief Redstone shook his finger. These hungry coyotes are eating all our pemmican. He did not like what the coyotes were doing, not one bit. Once again, Chief Redstone called on the elders. How do we get rid of all these coyotes? The elders thought and talked and talked and thought. Eventually, they came up with an idea. Let's bring in buffalo. So the elders brought in lots of buffalo. Old buffalo, young buffalo, big buffalo, and little buffalo. The buffalo snorted and kicked and pushed and shoved until all the coyotes were gone. But then there were buffalo everywhere. They caused a terrible ruckus and made a great big mess. Round and round they ran. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Up and down, through and around. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Snow cloud doubled over in laughter but Chief Redstone just shook his head. He did not like what the buffalo were doing, not one bit. One more time, Chief Redstone called on the elders and pleaded with them, what do we do with all the buffalo? The elders thought and talked and talked and thought. No one had any ideas. While the elders were still pondering, Snow Cloud slowly crept forward. Taking a deep breath, he boldly spoke up. Bring back the gophers. The elders could not believe their ears. Why would you want those gophers back? That's how this whole frenzy started in the first place. But he knew what he was doing. Snow Cloud, his friend Mighty Gopher, and all the other gophers gathered their buffalo friends together. Snow Cloud pointed to, out to the buffalo. You chased away the coyotes, but now you're wrecking our teepee camp and my people will suffer. Life on the prairie is balanced and every animal has its place, including you the buffalo who belong on the wide open prairie. The buffalo agreed. They didn't like being in the teepee camp. They followed Mighty Gopher and the other gophers back to where they belonged. As all the animals left, the people raised their arms and cheered. 
Chief Redstone proclaimed, we must have a celebration. After the feast and dancing, Chief Redstone stepped into the warm glow of the firelight and called Snowcloud forward. Because you use your special gift to reason with the animals, you brought harmony, balance, and tranquility back to our teepee camp. From now on, we'll be known as Little Chief. Gentle Willow smiled fondly. Chief Redstone rewarded his son with a very special feather, which an elder put into Little Chief's hair for all to see. The other children looked at Little Chief with a newfound respect. They wanted to be his friend and were sorry they had ever made fun of him. Little Chief now had a lot of friends, but he never forgot his first friend, Mighty Gopher. They remained best friends forever. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the story of Little Chief and Mighty Gopher. Have a good rest of your day. See you again.